Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. This will be a love reading and a career reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it, Taurus. Um, thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we'll start with love. Let's see what the love messages are for you, Taurus. Okay, we get these cards going on to flip out. Somebody's saying, look, I want you as my side woman or man. That is all. So having feelings for nothing and no one is a coping method. Heal your sacral chakra. So somebody who is just out here in the streets, they don't want to have any real feelings for anyone. Um, and they think that that is okay. Um, somebody needs to heal their sacral chakra. They're not able to accept love. They also could be using their sexual tools, um, you know, uh, very freely with whomever. Um, Somebody is saying, I can't wait for you to change. I'm leaving. So somebody is, was waiting for somebody to kind of change their position in terms of looking at this relationship or being in a relationship or maybe having feelings or catching feelings. Somebody wanted somebody to kind of grow up, um, maybe cut off other options here. Somebody couldn't do it. Somebody's extremely immature. Yeah, shutting down is not the answer. Sacral shock or coming up again. So somebody shuts down when it comes to emotions. Somebody's saying, look, I do love you, but my love is toxic. Um, yeah, somebody just doesn't want to have feelings. I fight the feelings I have for you. I will not let love in. So somebody is just really adamant about it, okay, because they don't trust it. They, maybe they've been hurt. Maybe all of their lives they use, you know, maybe their sexual energy, um, sexuality to express how they feel or to not catch feelings or somebody is kind of um needing to really dig deep here in terms of uh their actions what they do their reactions uh why they don't want to feel why they don't want to love why they don't want to make real connection with all right so let's see what's going on for Taurus and career and finance all right there we are the five of cups so you could have lost something or you didn't get something um, do keep in mind there's another opportunity or another um, option here. Uh, don't fret over this too long. C come out of that energy and rest in the energy of something being recoverable. Yeah, get in the energy, the ace of wands of um, being motivated to make something happen, to do it. Maybe to start this business or to start this new job or maybe to put money behind it or, or uh, funding, crowdfunding also. Uh, it also talks about creativity. It talks about light work or maybe being a light worker, a path shower, the path seer, um, getting motivated, throwing your hat in the ring. So if you're throwing your hat in the ring, then you know that there are other hats in the ring. So there are other people doing this and there are other people who um, have done it or that you can draw or, or garner uh, inspiration, motivation from. OK, uh, also it talks about competition. But you have to be up for it, up for the challenge, says the Ace of Wands, okay? You have to actually do something. The Four of Pentacles, um, so something about stuck, stagnant, okay? Maybe a, a, a connection, not a connection, but maybe a business or maybe your money is at a place of being stuck and stagnant. It's not growing. You're holding on to it. You're trying to maintain some level of prosperity, of uh, financial security. But you're going to have to part with it, and it may become, it might be that you're going to have to part with some money because it's legal. Could be of legal issues, maybe even divorce or separation. We had to depart with something. You had to let something go. There could be an, a contractual uh, breach or a breakdown in, in communication, miscommunication also. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you could learn the Tarot with me if you'd like. Tarot classes are linked below. Take advantage of that. Happy holidays. Thank you for being here again. Take care.